Want to be able to get amazing loot like this, for example, a rare a pistol, a rare outfit? Maybe you want to get a, a what you call it, a uncommon headpiece or a rare headpiece. Or you want to get a better gun, a better pickaxe that's not just common. You want to get something different. Well, today I'm going to show you guys the secret treasure farm that's going to allow you to farm these chests over and over again to get some really good loot that you probably wouldn't find anywhere else. And the great thing is you could actually do this early. So if you like how that sounds, let's go and take a look at the amazing farm and to show you guys exactly where each chest is at and how you're able to farm it. Now, one thing I'm going to ask for you guys' help is if you guys could just let me know how long it took you guys to respawn the chest after you guys opened them up. Because for me, it's been every three to every five days. And for some people, it's been different. So I do want to know uh, from you guys what that is. Now, another question I do have for you guys as well is uh, what are you guys kind of lacking on? Are you guys, what level are you guys? Are you guys needing more guns? Are you needing, are you having more fun with the crossbow? Let me know in the comment section below. So let's show you guys exactly the area where this is. I kind of showcased this area before and uh, I do want to showcase it again. It's this one right here, guys. We're going to be heading to this island. So what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to find or make our way to the island of where these chests are located. Now for me, guys, I found rare, I found uncommon. Mostly I found green schematics, not blue, but I have found, uh, that's where I got my handgun, the blue handgun that I got. I got it from this chest. And this is a really good spot because you're able to farm multiple times. And there is a good amount of chest uh, within the island. And luckily for you guys, I've gone over this whole thing like entirely. So you guys know exactly where each chest spawns. So you guys don't have to be spending your time trying to figure out exactly where they're at. So I'm going to speed up the video till I get to the island and then we'll go jump right into it. All right, so we're gonna start our chest farm right here, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly in the map. I actually marked these, and uh, each star represents a chest. So we're gonna open up the first one so you guys can see exactly what we get. Let me show you guys my inventory right now. This is what the inventory looks like, and you'll see what it ends up looking like, okay? So right now we got a heated resistant armor schematic, the first one, because it's gonna be an uncommon. And now we're gonna work our way in here, and uh, we're gonna go loot these three chests, okay? And let's... I wish I could, uh, you know, fly a little bit faster, but we can't here at the current moment. Uh, but we're doing what we can. Uh, that's the only thing I wish they would increment, the speed of which you uh, fly in. And there's a gold chest, so this should give us something a little bit better than that purple one. We're going to open it up right here as well. And this gave us a life pendant and a sphere. Life pendant is pretty good. It's going to increase uh, the your health just a little bit. So that should be a little bit helpful. Um, I always like to keep my pendants down here. And we're going to go here. Work over here. The good thing about the pendants is if for some reason you you haven't upgraded a certain portion of your, you know, of, of a certain category, you're able to do that as well. So gold chests are really good. They drop really good schematics. Uh, purples aren't that bad, but we'll see. Uh, so let's see. Open this one up. Uh, this is a high-tech gear. So right now we've gone through this one. We've done this one. Now we're going to go to the other one that's located right here. And the great thing, like I said, about these chests, for me personally, these chests spawn every three to every five in-game uh, in game days. Now, uh, I have seen some of you guys in the comment section say that it spawns every eight or ten. Uh, but I, I don't know why it's spawning like me in that frequently. If you guys can let me know, because that's one thing we want to know as quickly as we can. So we got a cold resistant armor set. So, so far, two schematics, which is really good. Uh, we're going to go fly up here, get these two chests up here. And the great thing about these schematics is you can actually share these if you have a friend that doesn't have one. Or you can craft uh, in case one's already broken. Or you can just go ahead and keep them some. So we're going to open up this one up. Another uh, sphere. So the good thing about the spheres is that you're able to sell those for money uh, to get a good amount of coins. And then the skill fruits, those are going to be able to give to your pals. So you can increase the different uh, you know skills that they have. Alright, so we got another gold chest, which is amazing. All right, let's go here. And like I said, I marked this for you guys on the map so you guys can know exactly where it's at. I'll show you the map towards the end so you can see where it's at. But if you guys are following this uh, video, you see exactly what I'm doing. All right, so we got a handgun schematic again. So for those of you saying, I can't get the handgun schematic. Now we got an uncommon, which is really good because if you have a white variant, then this green variant should be a little bit better for you guys. All right, so now we're going to go further up here into the sky. And I believe this one's this way here. It's going to make our way across here. All right. 
And I think it was this way. Yeah, here it is. All right. We're going to fly down here. There's another chest right here. Like I said, I've gone through this whole thing, entire thing, so it's kind of crazy. I'm going to open it right here. All right. So another metal helmet schematic. This is going to be for this right here. So this is a green variant. That's why I want to show you guys. I actually didn't have this one mapped in the mar map. So let me go ahead and mark it for you guys. So you can see exactly where it's at. And let me actually do it with my keyboard here. Uh, let's go ahead and mark it and put a star. Okay. And there is another one down here, I believe. Let me go this way. Come on. No, don't fall down. Yeah, that's the only thing I wish they incre incremented the speed here. And I'm showing you the farm so you guys can see that we are getting the items. All right. So if you're not getting the items to drop for you guys, uh, you guys are going to have to maybe come back when there's a chest here. And I believe the other one's across. Okay. Yeah, there it is. All right. Let's fly that way. Usually there's sometimes they're going to be laying like in the uh, on the edge or on the backside here. Uh, but these are the ones I found. Like if for some reason you guys find another one that I didn't mark on the map, which I doubt... Make sure you leave it in the comment section because that does help us out a lot here. And the great thing about these is that some of these are gold. So, you know, the, of course, you want to have, you know, I wish I could tell you guys, oh, there's only pure gold ones. But, you know, the purple ones aren't that bad either, especially like when you're trying to level up and trying to find really good stuff. Uh, so they should be good here. All right. So we got another sphere, high tech uh, manual. All right. And did I miss? I think I missed these two up here, right? Yeah, I think I missed those two up here. So. Let's make our way up there real quick. And you have to bear with me as I am uh, trying to get this dude to fly as quickly as he possibly can without falling. Oh, it's going to take a little while to get up there. And those, I think, are all the way on the top, right? When I mark these here. All right, he's going to fall down. Don't fall down. All right, let's wait for him to fall down right here. And then that should give us enough lift whenever we get there here. Let's come down here. And you are going to need a, a flying creature for this, right? So you're also going to need his har harness to be able to ride him and mount him. So do keep that in mind. It's not that hard to get. It's actually pretty pretty easy. Um, so make sure you guys uh, keep that in mind. And like I said, you can, uh, for me personally, I am able to do this every uh, three days, three to five days. So we're going to open this right here. All right. So another cold resistant armor, as you see right there. And then I have another one up here. Is this the one that was further up, if I remember correctly? Or was it on the corner? I just don't remember exactly where this one's at, but it's here somewhere. Uh, I just don't want to fall down here. Okay, hold on. All right, let's go back up. Let me wait for him to get his health back. I'm literally on top of it. I right, hope this guy didn't get stuck. There we go. All right, uh, let's go up, 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 up. Um, hmm. All right, hold on. Let me see if I can find find it. It's going to be, it says it's right here. Or was it the one that I found right next to the rocks? Uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure it was around here somewhere. If it's not here, well, I guess you guys know exactly where it's at. But you're going to want to check because I know it's hanging on. On one of these little ledges here. That's why I marked it on the map. But there you guys have it. That is how you uh, get. I believe this is by far one of the best chest farms available. I'm currently looking for another one. So as soon as I find another one. I will definitely post it up for you guys. Because I want to see. Uh, this one does give you some rares. I did get a blue one from here once. Which is my handgun. So you do are able to drop a blues. But as you guys see right here. You mostly are going to be greens. Because I only got three greens here. Uh, so four greens. So it's a pretty good one right here. So we hit resistant armor. We have a cold resistant armor, a handgun schematic, and a metal helmet schematic. So, I mean, this will go make a lot of your, like, whites turn into greens, which is really good. I think it's very effective. You can even get a crossbow from here. So, definitely go ahead and put it on your radar. And this is definitely by far the best secret chest farm location currently right now. Like I said, I'm looking for another one, and I'll definitely post it up once as soon as I find it. So hopefully you guys are enjoying our content. If you are, don't, don't forget to check out that video that's popping up right now on the screen on how to get the rarest pals in the game and how to get them. It's going to help you out quite a lot. So you guys are definitely going to want to make sure you do that. But this should definitely help you out get your armor up and ready to go. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.